We are on air in three, two, one. What's up guys, I'm Seth and today's video will be all about me selling a lot of my favorite sneakers to be able to buy a Vespa scooter. So if you're interested to see what pairs I sold and bakit ako bibili ng Vespa, then you should stick around until the end of this video. Let's go! Okay, I know what you're thinking. Why did I decide to let go a lot of my favorite sneakers to be able to buy a Vespa scooter? So, first of all, kaya ko binibenta yung mga sneakers ko is because I need the budget to be able to buy that scooter. And if you think about it, it's kind of like me redirecting my money towards another hobby or in my perspective, it's more of an investment because when I researched about Vespa scooters, I learned that like sneakers, its value really holds up well over time. And in some cases, some Vespa models have resale value. And that's why I think it's a really good investment for me in the future. And number two reason why I wanted to buy a scooter is because ever since I was in high school, it was really a dream of mine to own a Ducati motorbike. And it really didn't work out over the years for a lot of reasons. Um, one, Walang budget. Number two, my parents really don't want me to ride the motorbike that fast. And lastly, and sadly, hindi ko abot yung Ducati na motorbike. I've tried riding on one and hindi ko abot yung sahig. So, sinuho ko na lang yun and I decided to get a Vespa, which is also a great company when it comes to scooters or motorbikes. Anyway, before moving forward, Bago my benta lahat ng sneakers ko dito, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing of the few pairs that I will be selling to be able to get that Vespa scooter. So I will be selling four of my sneakers. Number one sneaker is the Jordan 3 Fragment. So I think familiar naman kayo dun sa box niya. Sobrang ganda ng box nito. It comes in a color blue box with a Jumpman logo on the lid of the box. And if you pop the box open, it has a Jordan in Fragment logo printed on the paper and taking a look at the sneaker and siya so may resibo na siya na ready na siya for selling and ayun so kunin ko na isang pair so this is the Jordan 3 Fragment and a lot of people really don't like this sneaker because it's too simple and resale prices when this sneaker release were quite high and parang hindi na justify yung value niya but for me, I really love this sneaker. Sayang nga lang ibebenta ko siya, but I can buy this again sometime in the future pag medyo bumaba pa yung value niya. And then, bumaba nga kasi yung value niya because of one flaw of this sneaker na kahit anong gawin mo, kahit anong alaga mo dun sa sneaker, it will happen eventually. So that is the heel tab na yellow. But overall, this is a great sneaker. Very nice quality yung leather niya. And I really like the simplicity of it very easy to wear and it goes well with everything so if you're looking to cop a pair of the jordan 3 fragments i think they're reselling for around 15 to 18k currently on the marketplace so the next pair that i will be selling is the union jordan 4 and if you know me i am really a huge fan of union and their collaborations their apparel the jordan 1 collab and this sneaker is really one of my favorites in my sneaker collection. So what I like about this sneaker is the very unique take on the Jordan 4 by Union owner Chris Gibbs. And I think yung one of the most controversial parts of this sneaker is the tongue. So kung may kita nyo, naka-fold down yung tongue and usually di ba naka-fold up yan or naka-tayo yung tongue, medyo mataas yan. But in the Union Jordan 4, it's folded down paying homage to how Chris Gibbs wears his Jordan 4 when he was younger. So the third sneaker that I will be selling is the Off-White Jordan 5 and it comes in this regular na Jordan 5 box but with circular cutouts in true Off-White fashion. So taking a look at the sneaker, so the Off-White Jordan 5 comes in two colorways and this specific pair is actually the seal colorway which is the second release for the Off-White Jordan 5. And personally, I like this colorway better than the OG just because 
it pays homage to the original Fire Red 5. And the last sneaker that I will be selling is the Jordan 6 Travis Scott. And it comes in this regular Jordan 6 box with the Jumpman logo on top. And the only difference is it comes in this green or olive green colorway with Cactus Jack branding all over the box. Now, if you pop the box open, so this is the Jordan 6 Travis Scott. This is a legit pair. I bought this from a very reputable seller with the receipt from Titan. Anyway, disclaimer lang. Kasi mukha siyang fake on cam. Anyway, I really love this pair. The design of this sneaker is really unique for a Jordan 6. It comes in this olive green uppers and it's a Travis Scott pair. But the main reason why I got this pair is because I wanted to complete the Jordan 3 to Jordan 6 na puro collab pairs. So kung napansin nyo, yung past 4 sneakers na in-unbox natin are all collab sneakers. From the Jordan 3 Fragments, Jordan 4 Unions, Jordan 5 Off-White, and lastly, the Jordan 6 Travis Scott. And paulit-ulit ko lang sinasabi sa channel, but I really love it when two brands or two minds work together to create something better. And I think it really showed dun sa last 4 pairs na in-unbox natin for today. So that's it for our unboxing today. Hopefully by next week, mabenta ko na lahat ng pairs para makapag down payment na tayo dun sa Vespa that we will be getting. Now the next few clips will most probably be a fast forward to when I finally get the Vespa scooter. So stick around until the end of this video. Let's go! What's up guys? Today is April 22, exactly 53 days since the last clip I shot of me selling my sneakers. Now I'm not sure if you've noticed but my sneaker collection looks very different after a month and a half of selling a lot of sneakers. But my sneaker collection is a topic for another video. Anyway, today I am finally getting the Vespa scooter that I was able to buy through selling a lot of my Grail pairs. Now just a quick disclaimer, I won't lie to you guys and say that I was able to buy a Vespa scooter by selling just 4 pairs of sneakers. That's really not the case. So to be fully transparent with you guys, I sold some more sneakers that unfortunately I was not able to document anymore. I apologize for that. And I got some financial support as well from my loving parents since it was my birthday a few weeks ago. Now with all that out of the way, finally after months of waiting, join me today as I travel up north to get my new scooter, the Vespa Primavera Product Red. Let's go! Okay, so that's all the time we have left for this video. I won't review the scooter for this vlog since it would take too long, but I will upload a separate review video for the Vespa Primavera product red on my channel very soon. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Anyway, I'd just like to give a huge shout out to Sir Sherwin and Vespa Danghari for helping me get the scooter, to Bike Hauler Towing Services for helping me bring home the scooter safely, and to my parents who really supported me in this huge milestone of buying my own motorcycle. So, motor muna tayo ngayon guys, hindi ko pa afford yung car. But maybe if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, then maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to afford a car sooner or later. Anyway, again, I'm Seth. This has been Seth on Air and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace. Okay, so I just have one last plug for you guys. I can't say much about the project, but 
please do subscribe and stay tuned to Street by Danny's channel and we will be uploading a huge collaboration video there together with uh, a lot of up and coming YouTubers here in the Philippines. So I'm excited for you guys to watch that video and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the content that we create. Anyway, I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.